case, Wheat Paste Gallery Project is something that the Antagonist Art Movement is doing, where we're trying to bring street art back to the streets, basically, because there's all these shows like Mr. Brainwash and the Shepherd Fairy and all that, where the street artists are going into galleries. We're bringing the gallery to the street, is what it is. This is a boner parade. Um, the idea came with, uh, I wanted to do a painting, a bunch of dudes, kind of Beatles Abbey Road style, with uh, naked guys with boners hanging out, streamers and confetti and all that. A celebration, if you will, of uh, the male virility. Well, this is like the ugliest gallery you've ever seen. It's got lights, white walls, little spots to put it. Make do with what you can. So I'm gonna come back over several times and keep adding to it. I don't have to do it all in one night. The next round is gonna be better. It's gonna be a little different than the typical wheat paste stuff. Paper guns I've been doing for the last 10 years are part of a series called Rock, Paper, Scissors. They're basically just paper mache that I do over top of gun. It takes about a few hours, maybe about two days to do one gun. Take little strips of paper, put it over a gun, it has to dry, and then pull it off. project, we actually went and took a lot of time selecting the artists that we then put in the show. And they're artists we've worked with in the galleries and other projects we've done. In a lot of ways, Wheat Pace is a reaction to commercial advertisements Everyone puts up these advertisements everywhere all over the city and I'd prefer to see art or something that isn't necessarily selling a product behind it. Saying I'm walking and I know the spots I want to put it up, but every once in a while come across a, a new little place that might be just perfect. What I also need to do is get some kind of ladder. I think getting up a little higher in some places would be good. Wheat paste art is always evolving and changing just by the nature of it being on the streets. The weather affects it. People come and deface it. And I find it interesting to go back and look at the same pieces that we put up and see how they change over time.